Hey guys, I'm Victoria from Crazy Charisma and today we're going to learn how to create a new class or just in general how to create a class in Google Classroom. Let's jump in. The first thing you do is you go to classroom.google.com. Here you will join your Google account. As you can see, I already have class kindergarten, but with you together we will create a new class. All you need to do is to click on this plus sign and here you will either join or create a class. We will create a class. Here I will name my class Test Kindergarten, but you can, of course, name it as you wish, as you need. You can add a section, a subject, and a room. I will leave this not filled at this point. We are in our class. There are four tabs in your class, Stream, Classwork, People, and Grades. You can see the banner of your class and you are actually in the stream tab. Before you add your students, you can change the theme. You can click on select theme and change it. I will choose this color. So let's discuss what are these tabs are. The stream tab is like a class feed where you communicate with your class. Classwork is where you assign activities, you create assignments, you ask questions, you organize your classwork by folders, by topics, and so on. People is where you invite your students or invite teachers or co-teachers to your class. And grades, this is the tab for grading. Let's go back to these main tabs and we will start with classwork. Here you can do many tasks such as create an assignment, create a topic, add materials, ask questions and reuse posts. In order for you to create an assignment, you click on this plus button, create and here you can create an assignment. Let's create an assignment where uh, kids will practice sight words. So here you can attach an instruction and uh, you can add a file that you want to be attached to this assignment. Normally I create various Google Slides resources and this is what I attach to assignments to my kids. You choose add and here you can see that you can add almost anything from your Google Drive or from link. It can be a YouTube video or it can be any other link. Um, it can be a file. I will choose Google Drive because all my resources are saved there. Here you can actually search. I know that my file is called typewriters, so I will search and let's assign this file. And one of the main things that you should do is here. You should choose make a copy for each student. This way a copy for each student will be made and students can work with this file not changing the original because if you assign the original file students can edit the file um, they will change everything all together so make a copy for each student here you can assign who will see this assignment it can be two classes it can be just one class or all your classes. You can choose to decide how many points will students get after completing this assignment. Uh, you can add a topic and also you can add a rubric. Also, you can create here a quiz, a question, add some materials, and this is one of the best features of Google Classroom that you can reuse the post. You can reuse them for different classes or different groups in your classes and so on. And here you can also create topics. 
um, and you can organize your um, assignments by different topics. Right now, let's create a topic just for you to see what it is. What I do with topics, when I name them, I want uh, them to be visual for me and for kids as well. They will uh, clearly understand what this topic is about. So I use emojis. You can use them by clicking control, comment and space. You can search for various emojis. So you can create a topic by subjects or any topic that will be easy for you to use. If you need to ask questions, you also click on this plus create button and you ask a question. So it can be anything. Again, you can assign it to all students, to all classes and so on. At this point, we will not ask any questions. Again, this tab is about adding students and adding teachers to your class. You clearly see that the first thing you need to do is to invite students to your class. You can click here and you can add them by typing their email address or name. Here you can add teachers. If you go back to your class, to stream uh, here at the top you can see class code this is the code that your students can use they send in to your class but they will need a code to sign in to log into it and they can use this code stream as I mentioned it's like a class feed here you connect with your students you share something with them maybe you share the link to google meet and here you can see that the assignment that was created by me also goes here this is the class feed and students see everything but you can control what is displayed here you need to go to class settings by clicking here uh, you can change class details, you can change general information about your class and stream. This is where you can control. Student can post a, and comment. You can choose for students just to only comment or the teachers can only can post or comment. And also in class settings, you can identify how the grading is done. If we are in the stream tab, here we can share something with our class. We can type it, type the important information, and we can choose who sees this important information, two classes, just one class, and we can post it. We can schedule it. This is very pretty cool. We can save the draft, One of the best features is that you can reuse posts and you can click here and you can choose with which um, class you want to reuse the post and you can choose what exactly you can reuse. It can be posted for different class in different time or you can reuse these assignments where you add something extra google sites or google forms or any links or youtube video or anything else i hope you find this getting started with google classroom video useful make sure to check out my blog crazycharisma.com i have various posts about google classroom seesaw and distance learning also you can subscribe to weekly tips and tricks i send about Google Classroom, just go to crazycharisma.com forward slash welcome.